Hey everyone and welcome back to the single sim challenge in The Sims 4. So right now Emmanuel is having some fun in the bath and today it's Winterfest so I just went ahead and added only one tree in the house. I really didn't feel like decorating the entire house just for one day. But at least you know we have the decorations outside. It's not too much. I mean it's not the most decorated house for Winterfest but you know I just didn't feel like decorating the entire house. So there we are. Basically what we're going to do today is celebrate Winterfest and decorate the tree, which is an interaction that I haven't seen in ages. I usually don't play with the holidays because I feel like they repeat themselves very very regularly and I don't know, I just find them kind of boring after a while. So I haven't played with the holidays for quite some time and I'm honestly really happy to be able to play with these holidays once again with this LP. So we're going to just go ahead Decorate the tree. Decorate with, uh, let's go, tree skirt. Uh, let's go for white and gold snowflake with Allison, of course. Also, so I didn't control Allison at all, as usual, during the, the night. So Emmanuel came back home. He actually cheered up his mother because she was feeling really sad. I think it was because she needed some social. And I also had him take care of the laundry, which I actually had to replace the, the dryer because it broke. I also had to replace the toilets. And, oh, actually, let's go and look at them. Decorate the tree. Oh, I wanted to take a picture of him this way. Salvajero Umbra? <laughs> Nisoda? It's really cool. <laughs> Moochie Beachy. This is so cool. I love it. But yeah, so he did some laundry, he cheered up his mom, and then he went to bed, and so he- I took care of him this morning. Oh, that's really cute! And then let's go decorate with, uh, ornaments. Or actually, no, garlands. Uh, popcorn, cranberries, red and gold ribbon. Oh, when I grow up. I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm grown up? Start practicing your hiding, get a ninja outfit. Oh, Emmanuel has a great reputation. That's awesome. Let's see, everyone loves attending. Okay, let me just have the two of them maybe just decorate uh, with garland. We're going to go for a red and gold ribbon with Allison. I mean, now that they're filthy rich, maybe they can just place gold everywhere. <laughs> so everyone loves attending social events that Emmanuel hosts. So it'll be easier to achieve gold level rewards during one. In addition, he'll receive phone calls from exciting, with exciting opportunities such as attending charity benefit parties, job offers to join new careers with immediate promotions up the ranks, and many more. Should Emmanuel be interested in dating, a great reputation can help with that as well. Romantic introductions now have a chance of starting a relationship off with higher, with heightened romance. Children don't receive their full range of benefits based on their reputation until they become teenagers, which is actually going to be pretty soon for Emmanuel. And he's in range in to earn the responsible traits. That's cool. And Alison reached parenting level 4. Well then, this is a pretty good start for... Let's go for yellow and white with Alison. It's a pretty good start for Winterfest, definitely. He also wants to do something with his mom, be friendly with Alison, definitely. So he's actually really excited to meet Father Winter, which I think Father Winter is going to come eventually towards the evening. He also wants to open presents, so we need to put some present under the tree. If I cannot do this with Emmanuel, I will control Alison to do this because I really want for Emmanuel to have a very nice Winterfest and I feel like his mom would have liked to give him a present. Actually, she's been thinking about an amazing present to give him, so we'll have to see that uh, when ta when the time comes. It's just the morning for now and he's starting to get hungry. There's also the grand meal, which he kind of ignores from being a child, so it doesn't really matter if we do not achieve this one. But that's amazing that he's got already a great reputation as a child, though I'm wondering if when he'll become a teen this is not going to change. Oh, he's asking, listen to Alison's question, why are you so sad, what happened? Maybe she's making him believe that there's not going to be anything for Christmas, like there's not, or for Christmas for Winterfest, that there's not going to be any presents or anything. Why can't I, do I really need to do this through Alison? Apparently we cannot put anything on the top of the tree. 
let's ditch school. We're not in school right now. Admire lights. Light control, the sabotage tree. Maybe I need to do this through Alice and admire lights. Okay, place present pile under the tree. Okay, so while Emmanuel is actually eating, I'm just going to have Alison. I know that I shouldn't be controlling her for this, but I really want for Emmanuel to have a very nice Winterfest, as I said. So I'm just controlling her quickly to put some presents under the tree. And then we'll go ahead and eat everything together. Also, this plate is disgusting. We need to clean it. And he's going to go ahead as well and clean the, the laundry. Can we maybe put more sabotage tree decorate? Oh, let's add a topper. Red and white, modern, starburst, white and gold. Let's stick with white and gold. Why is she so embarrassed? Drastic decorations from failing to decorate a tree. And sightly decorations aren't very festive. No, no, no lie. And cheery decorations. Well, anyway, I really like this tree, actually. And I love the fact that the presents are in the same theme as as the tree and the decorations that we've put on, that we've put on it. Uh, let's go and dry laundry. It's the third time that we're trying to dry this laundry. What's going on? This dryer is definitely not working that well. What does he need as well? He, need, he still needs to practice typing the two for four hours and achieve level five of modern skill. Though the last thing that he needs is actually to work on his homework and get an A level in school. So let's go and do his homework. If I actually was able to control Alison, I would have asked her to tell him to do his homework so that he can open his presents but we're just going to do this this way and pretend that she told him you know what do your homework and then we'll go ahead and open your presents i'm really hoping also that he's going to be able to get an a in school he still has two days before school ends for him or actually elementary school ends for him and he just really needs to do his homework he's really close from being able to reach the a level in school i really hope he'll be able to make it by friday evening did you finish decorating the tree? No, she's still on it. He's also very happy from the cheery decoration from successfully decorating holiday tree. A well decorated tree spreads holiday cheer. Yay! Also, as you as you may have realized, I've actually put the table a little bit more on the side so that we can put the tree. And I did not even have to use any of the uh, move objects cheats, so that's really cool. And I'm really happy to see that they can still move around. This was one of my worry. Homework complete! Yay! Can we go and open the presents now? Let's go and open the presents! Do I need to do this with Alison? Oh no, maybe I can do this by just clicking here. Sneak a present? Open presents with... Oh, he can add presents. Maybe actually he got something for his mom. So let's go and add presents and get excited. We can also sing together. Yay! Oh, I love the fact that the presents are actually have the same color for the as the tree. Yay! I feel like he would like to be naked right now. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the bubble above his head. All right, let's go sing together. Oh, Maisie, Maisie Grove with Addison. Let's see. Awesome. That was really cool. Let's go and open presents with Alison. It's time. It is time to get the presents. Let's see what we get. Oh, praise you! Yay! Is he happy? Ah, Pre-assemble yes, model stunt no plane. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I thought it sucked. Oh no! He will treasure it though. Didn't you like your present? 
can't wait for presents from excitement for presents those well uh, let me see those well wrapped presents are calling to me how long until i can open one i need to know what is inside <laughs> uh oh he seems to have the train set engine car well apparently this is a very mechanical family but he's going to go and clean something and while he's going to go ahead and clean something Allison actually has something more in reserve for him and so here is what Allison decided to give as a present to Emmanuel for Winterfest this is a little dog this is a little golden retriever her name is Butter and I'm sure that Emmanuel is going to be the most happiest little boy when he's going to see her so let's go and get to know and probably also offer friendship so if you go and check at butter or see butter's traits she's hairy she's adventurous and she's also very friendly which was why Allison decided to take her when she actually went to the dog shelter that's when she found butter and as she got to know her a little bit better she realized that she reminded her a little bit of her son so she decided to take her and give her as a present to Emmanuel Let's go get to know a little bit more and pet. We could praise her as well. So Emmanuel, who was actually a little bit disappointed from his present, I'm sure is now very, very much happy. Let's go and hug her. That must be so adorable. Yay! So maybe that was just, you know, a little bit of a joke that his mother did. Like, this is all you got. And then BAM! A dog. <laughs> This deserves a picture, definitely. Aww, He's just so happy. So and I'm sure Emmanuel is going to take very good care of her. So this is definitely a very awesome Winterfest. I would have loved to be able to put some kind of a red ribbon around her neck as if, you know, she was a real present. But I didn't find any and also I don't think puppies can actually wear those. I don't know how long she's going to stay as a puppy. What is this? Perfect present, of course, of course it's a perfect present. Only someone who truly gets me would have chosen such a perfect present. That or I am very easy to read. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's just so happy, let's go and pet her. He's probably going to teach her a lot of things. A lot of bunch of little tricks and everything. But for now, you know, she's just a puppy. So she, she needs a little bit of time, you know, to grow up and be able to learn actually more tricks and stuff so I'll have to put a pet bowl somewhere I don't really know where though maybe I can place one over here why are you calling me I don't know you uh, but yeah I'm going to do that very quickly right now and I'll get back to you all right so I got a toy box and also a ball here which I'm going to put right away into Emmanuel's inventory so that he can learn how to fetch with her and also let's go and fill the ball and Alison just went and took a nap on Emmanuel's bed, that's nice. And Emmanuel is also very tired. I mean, the both of them actually got up very early this morning. I think it was like 6 in the morning. You know what? He's going to go ahead. I I'd love for him maybe to take a quick little nap because we're going to have the visit of Father Winter eventually in the evening. And I'd love also to replace some of the presents over here. I'd love for them to have maybe a little bit more. <laughs> I'm a little bit greedy, I guess, but I want to have a bit more presents. Um, also, I'd love to check view batch progress and see where Emmanuel is at right now. And what is Butter doing? Oh, she's exploring the house. And she decided to sleep. Oh, I forgot to give her a pet bed. Oh, I forgot to give her a pet bed. You know, I, I need to give her a pet bed. She cannot stay and sleep on, on the rugs all the time. Alright, so I put the pet bed into Alison's bedroom because this is where there's the most uh, room. Otherwise, in Emmanuel's bedroom it was just impossible, otherwise he, he wouldn't have been able to move around very easily. And he's apparently very happy because of the sunny aspect. And I'm going to have him go ahead, add more present, replaced with a prank gift. No, let's go and add more presents. Maybe they can sing once again because that was really adorable. But apparently Butter really, really likes this, this rug here. And can I see the badge progress? Do you have any badge to collect? No, you have none. But I mean, we still have like, I guess, 20 days until he ages up into a young adult. Because he's going to age up into a teenager this Sunday. Alright, so he needs to work on his arts and crafts, give back, outdoor adventurer. He's actually been working on this one already. Young scientist. To earn this badge, perform scientific activities like computer programming or using the microscope and telescope. 
All right, so maybe he'll have to work on these things. I think it'll be a little bit easier if he's a teenager. Who are you? Where are you? What are you doing here? I don't know why, but we've been receiving a... <gasps> Father Winter is here! I remember when I was young, I was creeped out by Santa Claus, so... I don't know why I got so excited, but I mean, I'm excited for Emmanuel, you know, it's in a way his first Winterfest. We have more presents! <laughs> I wonder if the color of the gifts is actually influenced by the decorations that you picked. I wonder. Make fun of adults. Give Winterfest gift. No, let's go on Brighton Day. You know, we've been a very nice little boy. Can we get more presents? Even more? Ask for a present. So let's go and get to know maybe Father Winter and ask for a present. We can also maybe sing about Winterfest. That would be nice. Share Winterfest excitement. At least you know he's having a blast. He's just having a lot of fun. Father Winter is actually cheerful. And then... Where... Oh, take a make-believe... Tell a make-believe story. Fasish, fasish, fasish! <laughs> Are you excited? Yay! He loved it! I mean, probably very difficult after butter, but. I want to sing about Winterfest, though. <laughs> sing about Winterfest, there you go. Amateur, our child's violin? He got a violin? Oh, he can work on the arts and crafts. Scout badge with that. That's really cool. Yay! Let's go and open presents with... Uh, let's go and open some presents with Father Winter. Why not? I mean, he's in the house. Maybe, maybe Emmanuel got something for Father Winter. And look at Butter just walking around here. Okay, so what did you get? Do you like it? He doesn't like it, a pre prehistoric bird. This must be so cool though. But I guess maybe not for a train set engine car. This is the second time. Okay, do we have some food? Let's, yes, let's go and get some leftovers. He's getting hungry. Oh, he must be so excited to have had this dog, to have had Butter, to have Butter in his life. Oh, she wants to go and pee. Let's go and ask to go potty. So because we have now a dog, I might have to control Alison until Emmanuel ages up into a teenager to clean butter if she ever gets dirty. Though I think I will have to pick her up and put her into the into the grass here so that she can go and pee though. It doesn't really matter. The pets can actually pee and poop here on the on the deck area, which of course is not the most amazing thing, but it's technically not in the house, which is okay. Why are you yelling at my dog? Go away! Do not yell at my dog, she didn't do anything to you. Do we give some food to Butter? It's probably not a good idea. Maybe at least you know she told Emmanuel, you need to be firm with her because she needs to learn things, just like I was firm to you when you were when you were younger. And you know, Emma Alison, she knows that Emmanuel, he's really responsible and he knows that he'll be able to take care of this little dog, but she's still here, you know, making sure that everything is going well. She's not going to leave her son taking care of a dog all by himself. She's going to look over his shoulder, you know? Okay, you know what? Let's go, actually, before you clean up your plate, let's go and pick up. And see, he was already defending her from Father Winter, even though he was really happy to see Father Winter, you do not yell at Emmanuel's dog. <laughs> you do not yell at Butter. Okay, let's go here. Oh, and we actually see him in his winter clothes. Because it's cold outside. We can actually hear the wind. But better down here. Oh my god! That is adorable. Look at that little face! <laughs> she seems so happy. She definitely ended up in the best household she could have ended up in. Whoop. All right, let's go and teach her to pee outside. Uh, ask to go potty. You can go here. There you go. Good dog. We need to praise her for this. 
Can we praise her? No? Stay here, Emmanuel. Keep an eye on Butter. Also, he'll have to go to bed because he's going to be very tired otherwise tomorrow for school. Alright, let's go. Throw that away. He's probably not going to be very happy about this, but you know. Cleaned up pet poop. Ooh, gross. Why is it so warm and mushy? Bye bye, Winter Father. Let's go and. Winter Father? Father Winter. Let's go and pick up Butter. I wonder if we can praise her for. How. Such a nice dog she is. Let's go and pick her up. And go here. No, 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 no. Keep her, keep her in your arm. I know, I know you're tired, but just keep her in your arms. And then you're going to go ahead and put her inside the house. Because she cannot climb the stairs. There you go, okay. Go here. With butter. Nice. And then you can maybe... Mm, oh, look at journal. I still need... I always forget that he has a journal, but he needs to write down in his journal that he now has a pet. And I'm going to clean this blade for him. I, I'm i going to pretend that it was Alison cleaning it, cleaning it for him, because she still wants for his son to keep a little bit of his innocence. Alright, and then you need to write a little bit more. Write in journal. Let's go and write in your journal that you just got a new puppy, that you have a new friend, that you had an amazing winter fest. This is really really cool. I'm honestly really really happy with how this winter fest went. I guess just by controlling one sim it makes the holidays and some of the events that happen in your sims lives a bit easier. Dry laundry. Why do we still need to dry the laundry? Isn't it clean by now? Sorry I just hit my desk. Oh he's he was not happy about the fish. I guess maybe it was the fish that got the idea of getting a dog for Emmanuel into Alison's head. I guess that's what happened. Alright, so he finished writing in his journal, so I'm going to have him... Uh, can you hide the journal? Yes, let's go and hide the journal. Over here, and I'd love for him maybe to ask his mother to come and... Uh, replace. We have the money! <laughs> let's go and ask Alison to put to sleep. Is Butter going to play in the water? No, 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 no. Winterfest successful and Winterfest successful. Yes, even for Alison. Alison had a very, very great time. You know, it's like whenever you give a gift to someone and you see them happy about the gift, it makes you happy too. I really, really like that. So maybe this is why Alison is so happy and her Winterfest was so successful. It's not because she got two train engine set, whatever she got. But because she saw her son so happy to get better. But what I'm gonna do is actually skip on through the night and probably half of the day and resume tomorrow because I really want to go back to the library and spend a little bit more time with Emmanuel and his friends so that we can train a bit more his void creator. <laughs> Emmanuel is back home from school and he got his grades up! Oh my god, that's amazing! He's now a grade A student! Alright, so Emmanuel is ready to age up into a teenager. He's accomplished, I believe, everything he needed to accomplish before becoming a teenager. But if we go into into the calendar, you can actually see that his birthday is going to fall on Sunday. So I'm not going to speed the process and I'm just going to keep his birthday on Sunday. I, I've already thought through what I want to happen within the next few parts. Which is why I also wanted to play another day today because tomorrow, or next time, next part is actually going to be very, very interesting. So, yeah. I'm actually really excited for the next part, but for now, I want for Emmanuel to take a shower, maybe eat something really quickly. Or, I guess we can have a food stand at the library because I really want for him to go to the library. He's going to leave Butter here. She was actually really sad when he left for school this morning. She was so happy to see him waking up. She actually waited for him on the rug here to, for him to wake up. And she also woke him up in the middle of the night, so he had, he had to yell at her for waking him up and tell her that it was not okay. But, you know, let's just get a, go ahead. Oh, she was thinking about him. Let's go and give her a hug. Definitely. I'm sorry if you can hear some noise as well in the background, but the window is open and there's a bunch of work being done. Oh my god, he has this weird glitch again. There you go. Can you put on some clothes, though? Change outfit. Let's go into your everyday one, I guess. Where is Butter? Butter is right here. So let's go here and hug her. Because she deserves it. She's an amazing dog. She deserves to be hugged. So let's go and give her a big hug. Yay! 
Oh, that's awesome. All right, so I'm just going to have him travel to the library, maybe invite some of his friends as well from the League of Adventurers Club. And we're going to train his... Oh, she needs to go potty as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and train his whips, Wisp, Void Critter, and probably also find some food around the library. Emmanuel just arrived with his friends at the library, and he's just overall very excited to be able to tell them, you know what, I got a dog for, for Winterfest. What did you get? Did you get a dog too? Ask to trade Void Critters. Oh, we could trade the one that we don't use. What's its name? Uh, the Kempas. We don't use the Kempas. We still have Wisp. Let's go ahead and trade Void Critter with Tane. The new, the new boy in town. Oh, what did we get? Emmanuel traded away his Void Critter and got a Meduso card in return. Limited edition foil card. It's a limited edition. It's the Wind Power Level 2. Huh, I kind of like this one. So let's see, maybe... Let's go ahead and train the Void Critter again. Let's go and train Wisp. Because Wisp, it's his Void Critter. I'm honestly thinking just make, maybe making a kid's room stuff for a Void Critter LP because it seems so much fun. It really, really seems like so much fun playing with the Void Critters and everything. And I've been really discovering the Void Critters through Emmanuel and... Oh my god, what's going on with the legs here? Oh, this lady is naked. Maybe that's why it was lagging and was like, No! Do not see her! But yeah, this is really with Emmanuel that I've been discovering the Void Critters and everything, and it's so much fun! I think this is probably something that I will do eventually, maybe have a kid and follow their journey at becoming a Void Critter champion and have the best Void Critter ever. Actually, what is the description of the... Kempos? Meduso, Meduso, let's see. Root card. Meduso. The gelatinous texture of Meduso's body can be deceptive. Its amorphous shape is as weightless as the feathers that adorn its head. Oh, these are feathers, okay. Giving it the ability to drift through the air and avoid danger. While often mistaken as a mouth, the cavity in its face is in fact an enlarged nostril, giving it a predilection to track down the source of its intensely fragrant smells. Oh. Episode 20 saw a flock of Meduso latch themselves onto a perfume saleswoman causing chaos in the local mall. Leaf cleverly helped lure the Medusa away with the scent of succulent meat when he fired up the grill in a nearby park. Oh, that's interesting. But let's go ahead battle Void Critter against... Uh, let's go against Tane. He's actually really good friends with Tane. Let's go and use Wisp. <gasps> Wisp evolved! It's now a power level t 3. That's really cool. I wonder which card he's going to use. Is he going to use the Kempos? Because if he does, we're definitely going to win. Oh no, he's using a Wisp too. Level 4? Are you kidding me? Oh, are they going to win? Because it's technically the same, the same Void Critter. Oh, I wonder if it's going to win. Come on, come on, you need to win. I'm so into this. I really, really like that. Okay, so Emmanuel apparently did something really cool, though. Tane's Void Critter is actually really shiny whenever he does an attack, so... I don't know if he's going to win. Everyone is really into it. I'm myself really into this, to be honest. Did you win? No, he didn't win. Oh my god, no! We've been knocked down! Come on, come on. Oh, actually, no! The one on the left is Emmanuel's one. So Emma Emmanuel is the shiny one. Oh no, he's been knocked down by his own attack. That sucks. Okay, so he counter-attacked. That's really nice. Come on, come on. Beat him, beat him. I wonder if you can really evolve, maybe if you win more battles, or if it's just by training the Void Critter. It's definitely something that I would like to experience a bit more and see how it goes. Okay, so he did not get him. Tain is angry now. We'll have to go ahead also and get some food because Emmanuel is getting a little bit hungry. There must be a food stall somewhere. I just don't really want to leave here right now because I'm really curious to see what, what's going to happen. Oh no! You took too long to charge or whatever you did. Though for some reason Tane's Void Critter doesn't shine. Oh, okay. The second time that it's knocked down. 
Oh no, they. <laughs> Come on. Oh no, you're blocked. You're stopped. Come on, you can win. You can win. Ooh, was that a bad attack? I guess it was. I feel like Tane is going to win. It's been a few times now that Emmanuel has been losing. At least you know his fourth critter is doing well. No! Emmanuel lost. Oh no. Well, that was a good battle. Oh, he's angry now. Got wrecked from a Void Critter battle. What's What a sweaty match against a tryhard. Forget that. <laughs> oh, he's training now. He's very frustrated to not have to not have one. And so he's also happy about his good grades and a satisfying school day. You aced the pop quiz, won on the playground and dropped an epic joke during math class. Just an all-around solid day at school. Well, at least you know he had a very, very good day today at school. But he's getting a little bit hungry and I'd like for him maybe to find the, the food stall that's just right here and hopefully this time he'll be able to order some food without having any problem. Oh, let's go and get some pizza. Oh, sure, let's get some pizza. I'm just going to leave him train his Void Critter as long as he wants because I would have loved for Wisp maybe to evolve a bit more. But honestly, the Void Critters, I didn't know that it was so deep that you had all of those descriptions, that you had so many things actually that you could do with the Void Critters. I'm actually really thinking doing something related related to the Void Critters, maybe like a, a mini series and play with the Void Critters. Could have been cool though maybe to be able to play with the Void Critters as a teenager. I don't know, it could have been cool, you know, if you were maybe a geek or something, you could have still be able to play with the Void Critters, that could have been fun. But yeah, I'm just going to have him finish his pizza, though Lilac is coming to talk to him maybe? Yeah, he's just really hungry, he needs to pee, sleep, and just overall take care of himself. But tomorrow it's going to be his last day in grade school, and then we're going to have New Year's Eve, which is really exciting. And I have something planned for tomorrow for tomorrow, for the next part, but also for tomorrow. Something that's going to change Emmanuel's life forever, so... Yeah, I'm quite excited for this. I've been planning this for quite some time. Who are you? Neil Coffey, he's a fan. Is there a superstar somewhere? I guess there is a star somewhere, I just don't know where they are. But it's not important. What I'm gonna do though, guys, is end this part right here. So I had a lot of fun playing with the Wood Critters again. New not New Year's Eve. Winterfest was a whole lot of fun with Emmanuel. I'm really, really loving this LP, and I really hope that you do too. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, everyone.